Why, hello there. Hello, hello, and hello again to you. Fucking horrible day, I am going to say. Um, however, um, there's a lot to be grateful for. So, I'm just going to kind of tell you story time a little bit about my day. I uh, woke up this morning. I could feel a little bit. Uh, I see a fucking mouse. And that mouse is probably looking for my truck. Um, woke up this morning. Um, really just kind of nervous about everything. I went online, saw that my um, insurance still didn't go through. So I was like, oh my God. And I felt a little weird because I hadn't had my medication in two days. I got a hold of my insurance company and you know i got put on with the most wonderful person so shout out adriana um and if i said your name wrong i'm sorry i'll have to look it up or whatever uh but wonderful wonderful conversation i feel that you know my god uh put us together um so we could share things with each other and um hopefully she's watching the channel <laughs> wonderful person um she's gonna go a long way in life um and we have a lot in common so um i'm really happy that she's the one that i talked to however adriano got off the phone with her and called the medical insurance or called the pharmacy and my medical insurance still didn't go through so i called back and they pushed it right through so positivity of that is i did get it my son's cft meeting was today i did not go there are several reasons why I didn't go. Um, of course, you know, I'm not obligated to say every single reason, uh, but maybe I'll just say a couple. First, um, I was there, if you think about it. I do have two wonderful attorneys, so they were there. I did tell them, you know, regarding the situation. Um, I have a gaming name, and yes, I'm a professional Pokemon Unite player. <laughs> Anyways, my gaming name is AV Nasty, like Amateur Vapor Nasty. And these, this email that went out about this CFT with all of these people, and it's tagged all these tons of people, it says this person, Sally, Farah, Kendra, you know, Nancy, and then it says AV Nasty. I don't know fucking how. Did I, did I somehow use that email? Like, I don't understand. I didn't even know I had an AV Nasty email, so... Uh, yeah, that had a lot to do um, with the reason why I wasn't there. Um, also, um, I did read the report um, of last week of what the CFT was. And it was so fucking not anything that was said or happened. Um, so I was flaming pissed. And um, I didn't want to put myself in trouble um, because there's a lot of things that I wanted to say. Um, so I made the conscious t choice to step back this time. I was represented. I was represented there, and I just felt like that was in his best interest today, in my best interest today, because this isn't a, a meeting where you can say you're not telling the truth or you're a liar or this or that or this. Um, this is just talking about his care plan and the next right moves for him, um, and. I didn't want to start any trouble and um, there's more to it and that's why I felt like I needed to stick up for myself and you know say things like just because I'm homeless doesn't mean I'm this horrible person you know and you know stuff like that great flight to get to town and I got back can you bother that <laughs> so I got there and I got back and then um, after I got back uh, or when I was there, um, I did pick up um, a couple of Amazon packages. So I'm extremely excited that I got this cord um, for my camera. I've had a nice camera the whole entire time. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not this camera. And I've really wanted to use it, um, but I never had the cable because I thought I was going to be almost maybe two weeks. You know, that's it. Um, so I'm really happy that I got that cable. And I don't remember what else I got. I don't even remember. Um, nothing big, just something small, but it's the little small things that you really need sometimes. So, um, I, I did really good in town. You know, I wasn't afraid of the police or anything like that. And really at this point I was like, you know, if they pull me over, I don't even fucking care. 
got all my laundry done. The majority of my laundry I'm um, done. I didn't get it all done. Um, but as I had said in my previous videos, like I didn't have any sweatshirts left and you know, or anything, you know, or sweatpants. I'm nasty as fuck right now, but I did um, also fill up all the water bottles. So I got like 15 gallons of water plus another three gallons plus, you know, 48 bottles of water. So we're good to go with the water. Extremely grateful for that. And then here's where it went all downhill. And this is going to sound embarrassing, but I just, you know, I like to stay um, real <laughs> you know, with the way that I feel. So stupid me. I was at Walmart, you know and um getting some food i got some fuel um i got some propane tanks so thank you so much for the people that donated money these little propane tanks are fucking five bucks a piece and just to keep the they only last two to three hours and when it gets really really cold i mean i don't i i just needed to get a little warm and then turn it off but they seem to run out so fast so i'm so so grateful for that i got two or i got four i'm not really quite sure but here's where it all went to hell I went, um, you know, back where the uh, <clears throat> garden, oh my God, where the garden center is. And um, they have these little things that I'm sure you know what they are. You can put them in your Christmas tree and it makes your Christmas tree smell real. Well, I opened one just to smell it and poosh, and I'm not even going to cry about it because I just remember I smelt and even even though I'm in the pine trees, you know what I mean? I smell Christmas because when I had a different home, um, you know, that had a toilet and shower and stuff like that, I'm a real smelly person. You know, I like candles burning and I always have plug-ins and stuff like that. And when it's Halloween, I do all the pumpkin spice and you go into my bathroom and it smells like apple cinnamon. Um, however right there like a fucking freak i smelt it and tears just shot out my eyes like a bat out of hell over a fucking smell but we're gonna let that go for the rest of the day i got a lot of stuff to put away you know food um toilet paper thank god ice <laughs> Gatorade or Powerade because it's cheaper. Um, but, um, and one more gratitude before I go because I have so much to put away. Um, remember I told you that the professional boondocker was coming? Um, well, they're here. Um, they're, they're, he's not real close. I mean, I can kind of see him out of the corner of my eye now. <laughs> as long as he doesn't see me utilize the latrine outside, and that's all that matters, right? really good guy so i'm i'm extremely excited that um even though i'm not scared out here or anything it's nice to know that there is somebody right there you know because maybe that's when the killer will come when bigfoot will come when the monster will come when the murderer will come when the bear will come <laughs> Anyways, once again, thank you so much for the people that's donated to the GoFundMe. You have no, no clue in the world how nice it was to be able to put gas on my tank today without saying to myself, like, oh, my God, look how many dollar bills you have. And, oh, oh, it looks like you have $5 in one account and 10 in the other. So move that 5 to the $10 account so you don't have to use two cards and feel like a fucking idiot. So, um... Just something like that is so fucking huge to me. Knowing that these long johns are coming. Um, just, you know, just knowing these things that people care means so much. And so I just want to let you know, all of you, that I appreciate you all so very, very much. I appreciate you for allowing me to be myself, for accept, accepting me for exactly where I'm at, whether it's happy or sad or struggling and not making fun of me or not making fun of my teeth <laughs> and i hope you all have a wonderful day i don't know why i always have to do it fucking 10 minutes like what the fuck <laughs> anyways have a great night okay bye